Today I'm in Moab, Utah, and I'm riding what I'm calling the alternate enchilada. That is, I'm avoiding the Burrow Pass climb, and I'm going to ride around the Moonlight Meadows and Clark Lake segments, and then join back in at Hazard County. So let's go do it. So last time I rode the whole enchilada, I ran into a couple of guys that said we were going to go this way. And they thought, hmm, I never even thought of riding around Burrow Pass. If you've never done whole enchilada, you definitely want to do that route. But there is a, a big pounding climb at this high elevation. I think it's 11, 11, 2, something like that. The top of Burrow Pass. So, the air's thinner. And it's October. And right now the ground's frozen. And there is snow on some of the shady areas of the trail. But this is definitely a more lightly ridden trail than the normal whole enchilada. At the bottom of Clark Lake, there is a big hike a bike to join back into Hazard County. But the hike a bike is gonna be at a much lower elevation than essentially the hike a bike on, on Borough Pass. So I thought, you know, I'm always up for an adventure, try something different. And so there are remnants of the forest fire around here. The forest fire was a couple years ago and it was quite extensive. So this trail is a, a black and you can see it's already kind of janky. So Moonlight Meadow, yeah, we're riding through a meadow. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that view down there. Actually, this is a pretty cool trail. I would think that it might even be better if it was a little warmer because everything is so hard. Not just my tires, but the trail surface too. It's frozen. Yeah, some more burnt trees. Yeah, this is actually a beautiful meadow ride. Uh, a couple of summers ago, I rode Palisade Plunge, and the upper section of that is one massive meadow too. But it wasn't all that steep, so it was quite pedaling. Not like this one, where you can basically flow right through this, which makes it quite enjoyable. But look at that devastation there. I'm thinking for me, so far, this is a better trail than Burrow Pass. You have this massive climb on Burrow Pass up to the peak, which again is a bucket list item. Top of Burrow Pass. But the descent, I mean, it's such a popular trail and it's so eroded. Freezing. Freezing cold, yeah. Dusty, dirty, janky, and real busy. This is less steep and so gravity is working a little more uh, measuredly, I guess.
riding along the edge of a canyon here with a creek flowing down. A little edgy. So there's the lake right there. Scenic spot. I didn't even notice the junction where Moonlight Meadows turned into Clark Lake. I'm seeing a lot of hoof prints in here that I think are deer. Smaller hooves than cattle. In which case, it reminds me that last time I rode Hole Enchilada, at the bottom of Burrow Pass, I did come across a deer right on the trail. And it's very cool because got a chance to videotape it. Check that out. Some wild turkeys right there. Look at that. Seeking a wildlife. So I'm now at the Uwa Lake campground and about to commence my hike-a-bike back up to that ridge line up there. And speaking of more wildlife, there's a deer right there off in the bush now. And there's another deer right there. Hence begins my hike-a-bike. Here's our brief rideable section of the climb trail. And in fact, so far the climb hike a bike part wasn't all that bad, but I still got some more to do. I have just paused to catch my breath. About halfway along the Shulman Gulch Trail, the bypass trail, and I come out to this meadow, it's beautiful. And you get all the Moab Valley down there. Well, now I'm at the beginning of Hazard County. And so this concludes the alternate enchilada route. And in summary, I gotta think that that's a viable option. The, uh, the downhill part on uh, Moonlight Meadows and Clark Lake, I, I enjoyed more than the descent on Burrow Pass and the hike a bike that you got to take to get back up to here was a little brutal, but I don't think it's any harder than trying to climb up to Burrow Pass, which was uh, at such a high elevation. It's it's uh, pretty much you got to walk your bike most of the way up there anyway. So there's some uh, cows and that's a bull in there. Want to be wary of the bull. Okay, now I'm at uh, the top of Hazard County commencing this more flowy descent here. Yeah, look at that, that's pretty amazing.
Oh yeah, I could have ridden the line on the left there. This is a very fun section of the whole trail. Kind of like a skateboard park in here. This is a lookout here on UPS. And that ledge right there is a iconic place to get your photo with Castle Valley down the distance here. Outstanding views along here. Oh yeah, there's a beautiful roll in here. Remember this. Oh yeah. I love these slab rolls. Hello. Hello, I'm being a baby. Go ahead. Thanks. Nope. Sweet. Yeah, that's one of the most fun rolls in there in the whole whole enchilada. I like some of the lower parts of porcupine rim, but only the very bottom sections, the lead G scenic parts. But fun factor, that's the best smooth slick roll. Here's uh, the overlook. LaSalle Mountains there. And then Castle Valley very scenic today and then way down there is the edge of porcupine rim So I'm now coming up to the junction of the Raptor route and Porcupine Ring. And so you have to choose whether to go left and take the Raptor route or to carry on down Porcupine. And both these choices are great options. So I'll leave you a link at the end of this video so you can choose for yourself. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.